Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with Brian Sanchez. Thanks for being with us, Brian. Thank you, Steve. And I don't even know what to say to you today because you look splendid. I'm just in awe. You're running out of compliments. No, I'm going to find some, but I don't want to hurt your feelings because I know you're sensitive. I am very sensitive. Uh, now, not only on some of these videos, the shorts, I mean, not only do people call me old, one kid called me fat. Well, <laughs> come on, fat. You're like 100 pounds less than me. Maybe they got to look at the big squishy here. Yeah, and I'm Maybe taller than you, meant. too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're going to talk, kind of continue our gym culture discussion. Yes. And, you know, I want to encourage people to get in the gym. And you saw the title. It's, hey, if you're fat, don't be a victim. And what we mean by that is don't find excuses to stay out of the gym. You know, I do a lot of videos and I ask a lot of people, how do you like to train? A lot of people like to train at home and then they like to do some cardio outside. The great thing about that is the convenience. I do it too. But there's something about the gym that can't be described and can't be duplicated. It can't be duplicated in the nicest personal gym that you could build at home at 5,000 square feet. You can't duplicate the gym that is a public place in town. You know, I think, I think even more to it. And I agree. I've had all my own stuff. I've, I've, you know, for necessity back in the day, I had everything I have here, basically not all the small stuff, but in general, uh, you know, and created my own home gym system. And I understand why we do that. But at the same time, you know, what we're talking about too might be more in tune with, you know, pitfalls to personal success. You know, why, why do we have such a tough time with our own image? You know, why do we lack motivation? Why do we not take ownership over who we are and what we are? And I think when we're in these situations with our clients and we're trying to get them in here and get started, or, uh, you know, a lot of the guys that I work with in my little side gig, you know, when we talk about, you know, hey, get in there and just start. What I'm finding out in, in, in these discussions is, is a lot of the people truly do have problems with their own personal image of who they see themselves as. And it's a barrier to that success. It has nothing to really do with whether or not they're fat or skinny. Look, I'm a heavy set guy. It doesn't stop me from coming in here. You know, does that define me as an egomaniac? Because I don't think what anybody says has an issue. No, I value what other people say, but I'm not going to place a burden that somebody else might be looking at me as a barrier to where I need to be next year. You know, I can take my own personal journey. Steve, you and I have talked about this. I can take my own personal journey over the last the last year. You know, you know, I'm kind of trying to, to trim down in, in, in my stature and not be the crazy powerlifting guy anymore. Um, it's nobody's fault I got to the size I was. It's my responsibility to control that and move it. And there's for a lot of people, the way they look, you know, you don't know what their health is. You don't know um, if they've got genetic issues. You don't know if they've got thyroid problems. There's a lot of reasons that go into it. It's not just meaning that somebody is quitting on themselves, but what that does mean if you're feeling inadequate, if you lack that motivation, if you're concerned about your image in a facility like a gym, which is a very, very, very positive place to be, come on in and join us because people are going to encourage you. People are going to cheer you on. Your coaching staff and your personal trainers, your gym staff, your business owners like Steve, you and the ownership group, everybody will applaud those who are trying to make a better day and a better tomorrow for themselves. We're not going to slow you down. We're going to push you forward. But I think there's some key things you have to do. You have to define why you're going to be there. And when you define that, you know, when I look at why do I want to be healthy? 
look, I want to have another day on, uh, with my wife. I want to have another day with my children. I want to have another day with my grandkids. I want to be available. I want to have another day with my clients. It's more than just me and how I feel about myself. I want to join them in their adventures. I try to define something that's bigger than me and greater than me so that I can move forward to it. You know, I want to make sure that I'm motivated. There's days that, that we can all lack motivation. Well, how do you redefine it? Get into these groups, get into these spin classes, get into these group fitness classes where you have these positive people in there trying to motivate. You get into one of our guys, Josh Rogers group or, or, or other Brian, um, you get into their groups and these people are so positive. When you're in that group with these people, there is no way you're going to come out feeling like you're less than somebody special. You will feel special. You will feel accepted. You will feel a part of the team. Your coaching staff's going to make you feel that way. But I want you to, you know, self-reflect too. If you're that person that's out there feeling like, oh, I'm too heavy to go in or I'm too skinny and I want to bulk up and people are going to look at my, my legs, you know. Take ownership for where you are. That doesn't mean a bad thing when we say take ownership for it. Understand. Seek the understanding of who you are and what you are. And let's help you reshape that and redefine that. Let's get rid of our old habits. And let's let them go. Forgive yourself for what you did yesterday. Don't keep taking that burden back. Get it off your soul. And get back into the game and let us help you get there. Because I agree with you when we look at all these things, Steve, just because you might be overweight or you feel ultra skinny, there shouldn't be something that stops you from coming and joining our team. And I can assure you at Fitness for 10 in the Parkway Athletic Club, we will do nothing but support you regardless of who you are, what you look at, what you look like, or why you're there. We are going to find a way to help you meet success. You know, and I also, Brian, I think most gyms are like that, not just ours. <clears throat> I think most of them are like that. They're so positive. And, you know, um, for instance, I've only laughed at Brian in the gym maybe five or six times. And I've only pointed, I've only pointed like twice. Now, before y'all get mad at me and call me a jerk, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I want you know what's really cool is when you hear the testimony of someone who started going to the gym who is obese. And, you, and I've heard this over and over and over. You can ask them, how did you feel at first? And they're like, well, I was kind of scared. I mean, I, I didn't know what to expect. I thought, I, I, I thought everyone was looking at me. And you know what? I've said this before. Maybe they are looking at you a little bit. But they're, I'm, I'm telling you, nine out of 10 people are looking at you with admiration. They really are. And nine out of 10 people want to go up to you and say, way to go. I am so glad you're in here. Don't give up. If there's anything I can do to help you, let me know. That's what people are thinking, even if they don't say it. And a lot of people don't have the guts to go up to someone who's obese and say that to them. But that doesn't mean they don't want to say it because they do. It's such a positive place and it's such a cool place to be. You know, I was in our Sparks Club last week and I was just, it's like it feels really good in here. And that club has mostly serious lifters. You know, there, there's not a lot of beginner lifters. They're all ages, you know, from 18 to 80. But even if they're 74 years old, they're more on the serious type of lifting side. But people are laughing and smiling and it feels good in the gym, it, it, at least in ours. And I think it does in most gyms. So I want to encourage people to get in there. And if you're overweight, especially if you're really overweight, you will be surprised at the reception that you get. And Yes, it might feel like people are looking at you, but it's not in a negative way. It's in, ad, it's in, in an admirational way that people are looking at you and inside they're cheering you on and they want to see you next time. That's why you will get some people say, hey, don't give up, man. I hope I see you tomorrow or I hope I see you next week. You will get that because people love that story. And it just, 
you know, I, like you said, when I just started talking, it, it, you hear so many people that are overweight, what their expectations were, not what the reality was. And I think that's really cool. Well, you know, Steve, if you're the person out there and we do send you this message and you are worried, you are concerned, you can't find the way to make this move for yourself, put it in the comments. Get a hold of Steve. Get a hold of me. We will help you find a place. We will help you find a home where you feel accepted. And if you're in our region and in our area, you know, in the Carson City, Reno, Sparks area, hey, come on down. We've got you. We will help you to feel that success. Right. And there's fitness for tens in Florida, in Arizona, in uh, Pahrump, Nevada, in Fernley, Fallon, uh, in Minnesota. Um, so Go Vikings. Yeah. Uh, it's actually in the town where the Vikings, I think, still have their spring camp, spring um, training. So, um and another thing I want to say, if you're older, if you're older and feeble and maybe you're in with a walker or a cane or a wheelchair, you're going to get help. I saw a guy, an older guy in the gym, I think it was yesterday, and his arm was in a sling and he was trying to move the seat back on the leg extension. I saw it. I went over and said, hey, sir, let me help you with that. Let, let me move that for you. It takes a little leverage, showed him how to do it, let him practice a little bit with one arm. And then he could, he got on it. He said, well, thank you. You know, the gym is the place where people hold doors open for you. Um, and, and just, I don't know, I can't say enough about it. Yes. It's a business I'm in and you know, we don't make hundreds of thousands of dollars an hour like you can in a, some businesses like a Costco, but it's a great place to be. It's a positive place to be. And it's a place where people are friendly and it's a small percentage, you know, since the invent of the, um, the low, the lower cost or the value based model, it's bumped up in some areas where 20% of a population will join a gym. But what about the other 80%? There's still most of the people have not joined a gym or even been in a gym. All I'm saying is try it. Go get a pass. Go try it for a day. See what happens. See how you feel. You know, y you don't have a lot to lose. So I just want to encourage right. you. I'm with you there. Come on down, everybody. Give us a shot. We got your back. All right. Well, if you guys like tips for um, older people like Brian and I, uh, or for beginners, or, you know, we interview a lot of personal trainers. We don't, we're talking about gym behavior, kind of gym culture today, but we talk about how to work out, you know, how to eat. And we get advice from uh, lots of other people, you know, nutritionists and doctors and personal trainers. And uh, that, that's what we do on this channel. So like, and subscribe if you like that stuff forward this on to someone who maybe is overweight to encourage them to try it, you know, try a gym. So Brian, thanks for being with us and we will see you next time. See you soon, everybody.